Hi everybody, quick draws, specifically Alpine quick draws. The do's, don'ts, the definitely nots, and the, the whys. Let's get it. Okay, so before we get to the Alpine quick draw, which is gonna be what this video is mainly about, there's a lot to say about quick draws, their design and how to clip them in correctly. And this video might go on for a half an hour if I got into that. So I'm just gonna to try to focus more on the Alpine quick draw. So why don't we use sport quick draws on track climbs and things like that. Well, one, the weight. This is more designed for a sport climbing environment. But, uh, right, why use a quick draw? So, if we're placing gear like this nut in the wall, if we just clip directly to it, like, like so, we have two risks. One, we can increase the rope drag. Two, we have more of a direct connection to this nut, which means we can wiggle it. And you don't want to wiggle your pieces because then they can move out of place. Here's another, here's another food for thought while I'm, while I'm talking about this. I knew a guy that it would extend everything. Everything was extended. Sometimes you might want to be directly into your nut like this, closer. If the fall is going to get you too close to a ledge. You have to realize if you extend this piece, that means you're going to fall farther and you might slap a ledge or something like that. You have to think about it. If you could jam this nut into the point where it's not going to move and, you know, obviously you have to have the experience and be able to make that judgment call. But rule of thumb is you want to be able to extend this so that you don't wiggle your pieces loose and then they fall out. That's just food for thought. This quick draw is still kind of rigid, you see, and it, it, acts, it actually could wiggle this. There's an, this is like stiff. See, there's a piece here that's holding it so this piece doesn't spin around. That's great for sport climbing, but for track climbing, we're getting the same problem. We're almost like directly connected into the thing. So, all right, now let's get into our friend, the Alpine Quick Draw. The Alpine Quick Draw consists of three parts. You got your sling and you got two beaners. So you can essentially make this. If you buy some webbing or whatever that's, that's rated correctly, then you can make an Alpine Quick Draw. But the best way is to buy one of these. They're rated 23 kilonewtons. They're Dyneema, super strong, not as stretchy as nylon. You can, get, you can make your, your sling out of nylon and people could argue back and forth on, on all that stuff. That's not what I'm gonna do on this video. I'm just gonna show how, how to make one and how not to make one. So this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to take your sling and go like this to make it shorter and then clip here and then clip here. That's because when you go to clip this in and then you decide, man, I really need to extend this and you unclip this and you clip one in here and you pull, it's going to pull right through and then you're going to feel like a dummy. So you don't want to do that. Why would you want to extend it in the first place? Well, that's a very good question. I know you all really appreciate when I break things down a whole lot because I could have just made this video, make your Alpine Quick Draw like this, and it would have been a 15 second YouTube short. But if I break it down to you really well, then uh, it'll stick in your brain. You'll know the reason why, not just, you know, how to. Was it teach a man how to fish type deal? Okay, so let's say you had a short quick draw like this. And it's clipped in. And then it's time to go up. This is, this is our overhang, okay? This is our overhang. And we clip it in here. And then we climb up. And now our rope comes over to here. Well, there's this pinching action that's happening here. And we're getting... A lot of friction. This is called rope drag. You do that a couple times with your rope going in different directions. You're going to have so much rope drag, it's going to feel like there's a monkey on your back trying to pull you down. You don't want to do that. So quick draws really help you reduce rope friction So and rope drag. So you want your rope kind of going in a straight line and you could do that if, it's, if, the, if the route is really bad, you might need two ropes. One rope clipping in on this side of the route and one rope, that's another story. But Alpine Quick Draws are really good at fixing this problem. Okay. So if we have if we extend this over here like this and we clip this into here, then look, our rope is now free 
to move around and not be dragged along that edge. Okay, so now for the P la resistance. That's how you say that. Peace la, peace la resistance? The, my French is pretty bad. All right, let me uh, show you how to build the quick draw. Alpine quick draw, that is. Okay, so I showed you the, already the definitely do not do. Let me show you the, a way that's also not too great. You take the quick draw and you just quickly give it a twist and then clip it. This is another way to quickly make it shorter. Except if you go to unclip this thing to extend it, you're going to get this, this thing is going to get stuck in here like this. It's going to be really annoying if you're gripped. And then you kind of end up with this like doubled up thing here. And sometimes it's grabbing the gate and everything. That's not very nice and neat. If you, if you do see somebody that clipped this or you came across and it's clipped like this, someone handed, your, your, their, someone handed you their gear and then you, you clipped it in and it looks like this. Quick way to fix it. Spin the beaner around. Okay, I guess if the, if the hanger's over here, right? You're going to spin the beaner around like this. And all you're going to do is just clip it. And then it stays clipped in because the twist is really just kind of like uh, like this. That's all that's really happening. It's got this it's got this twist here, and when you unclip the twist, it just kind of falls in. So you could clip quickly, just unclip it, which is really not unclipping. It's not like doing uh, something like well, it's kind of like doing this, like clipping it in, really. But it's not like doing one of these, which it might feel like it, but it's not like doing that. Okay, so how to make the correct Alpine. So you grab this, you take, I like to take this part, the seam, put it up here towards the top, okay? Rope management and cleanliness is extremely important in climbing, okay? You want things nice and neat. If, that, if, any, if climbing teaches you anything, it'll teach you to be more organized. So you stick this through here or you're gonna have a really hard time. Stick this through there like that. And then you have these two loops. You have a loop here, and you have a loop there. You're just gonna clip both of these. You're not gonna clip one, you're gonna clip this, this pair just like this. And then now we have this thing going on. It, now it's not extended, it's short. But in this configuration, if we unclip this, we can clip anything we want here. Clip right into here, and it's just gonna unfold, and it's gonna extend. Dummy proof, right? So what's what's the magic behind this? What's actually what's actually happening? So what's really happening is we have two parallel lines that are going like this, right? And we're looping it around like so. And it's going through the beaner, but I'm not gonna put it through the beaner just so you can visualize this. And then it's going around like this. Not twisting, don't do any twists. It's going around like this. Probably just all twisted up already. Let's try to make this neat. And then it's coming down just like so. So this is this is what it should look like. Okay, obviously it should go through that beaner, but for visual visualization visualization? 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 Whatever. We're gonna just do it like that. So as you can see, we can clip it here, 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 we can clip it anywhere. And what's gonna happen is it's basically just raveled in a circle. So it's just sticking in there for what the hell. Why not? You guys are smart enough to figure that out, right? Okay. So let's say we clip it here. It's just gonna pull, this side's gonna pull through. It's gonna pull, weep around, whip around, and it's just gonna become extended. So basically, it's just gonna untwist. That's the whole magic of the thing. It's just twisted kind of in a spool and we clip it anywhere we want. That's the right way to make Alpine quick draw. The reasons why you want to use Alpine quick draw. And um, that's that. Well, that's the episode, everybody. I tried to make it as quick and simple as I possibly could without missing any important details. If there's something extra maybe I missed, leave it down in the comments. Do you have any tips and tricks? Leave it down there. People like to check those out and get some extra tips. Of course, if you're brand new to climbing, Never go out and just go climbing. Climb with someone that's experienced. They'll tell you if you're climbing well, if you're placing gear well, and if you possibly could lead or anything like that. That's far down the road. Don't think you just buy this gear and start leading. You never want to do that. 
So that's uh, that's about it. That wraps it up. Of course, leave a like. Super helps the channel. Boost the algorithm. Leave a comment. Subscribe, of course. And Joshua Perry, climbing out of here. Check out our Discord, too.